What is going on guys? It is Lights Out Gamer and today I'm coming at you guys with another zombies commentary and I don't really just play zombies to play zombies much anymore. This is the Giants pist pistol and shotgun only challenge. Yes that is right. So um this is a fun challenge. I have heard of it but it was brought to my attention via subscriber so thank you to uh, him for t recommending this challenge uh, I'm glad you guys are liking these long three to four part commentaries uh, I have started a playlist of zombies challenges and these will all fit in this uh, category it's a playlist on my channel it's called black ops 3 zombies challenges uh, I will leave a link down in the description uh, as long as, and this video will be going into it as well as on my main channel. So let me get into this. I mean, it is pretty self explanatory. I have to use the pistol that I have in my hand or just the RK5, which is right there, uh, or, and then any shotgun that I want. So it's pistol and shotgun only. Uh, kind of self explanatory. I'm gonna start us off by buying this. I love its color. I love the attachments I have on it. Um, so we're probably gonna get rid of the MR6, even though it is pretty good upgraded. Uh, I just feel that it isn't worth killing myself over just to have an explosive weapon. Uh, rip PhD flopper, but I mean, I just don't think it's worth having that uh, much of a hazard on a challenge that's already hard itself. If that makes sense, I hope that does, but this challenge is a fun challenge. I did this on a ton of Black Ops 2 maps back when I did not have a channel, um, and it was just always a good time. It was always uh, fun. It was always uh, a challenge, which is what it should be, but uh, I I feel that challenges... Oh, ooh. I feel like challenges always give me uh, something to do. Uh, it gives me... Uh, Instead of just playing a regular game of zombies, it gives you uh, something you can do, like a two box. I think that's my favorite challenge. I've not done one yet on this channel, on um, my channel in period. But this, it always is a fun challenge. I may do it. Oh, you really? You're not gonna? All right. So apparently, I used up all my hundreds. I don't know when, but I did. Okay. So power's turned on. I, I'm going to go for a quick revive right away. Uh, I feel like the KRM is another good option to go for. the This and the KRM, the RK5. And then that way it's an easy setup. Uh, it, and we can get uh, going on this challenge, getting our perks set up and uh, setting everything up that way. I mean, I, I find that pretty easy. But, you know. You're allowed to use your knife just in case people were wondering. You are allowed to use your knife, just in case, like, somebody was like, you cheated, you're kniving. Well, I'm doing it for points, so, um, so I can get, a uh, quick revive, which I already can get. It's just about finding it now, so, I'll find it in a little bit. Jeez, this guy's running, dude. He's on his period. What the f- Jeez, okay. I do like the strategy of just, uh, uh, getting a ton of points right away, and then, uh, can I get, yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do with that jug machine, if you guys were kind of confused there. I was just trying to, uh, get that free 100 points that helps a lot. So now I think, uh, I'm gonna buy this KRM. And the reason why I'm buying this KRM is, A, it's pimped out AF because I did... Uh, I did g get a red hex on it, so I have all of its awesome attachments, but uh, it's dark matter. I love looking at dark matter, but most importantly, uh, it is a beast pack of punch, guys. It, it turns into the dragon's glare. I don't know if you've seen it before. I highly recommend it. Uh, Dreisendrock, Panzer. Oh, that was it. I was going for a high round attempt, again, back when I didn't have the channel up. And, uh, I used this KRM to, uh, you know, uh, kill the Panzer, because it's just such a beast. This zombie is taking quite a while. 
Um, I'm gonna try to find them because this is boring just to watch me run around in circles. Is that him? I'll show you how much of a beast it is, pack punched, in a little bit. Nice. Seriously though, there are a ton left and I've not seen... Alright, there we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit up the box much. I just don't think it's smart. We do want to get pack punch quite early though. Because these two guns are not going to hold up for much longer, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, the giant just, you guys may be thinking, why am I doing the giant? I just think that it's uh, pretty convenient. It's a pretty small map. We can get set up pretty quickly. It'll be a quick challenge, maybe maybe a two to three parter. Uh, hopefully four if we make it to 30. That's normally like a entire challenge goal. Like if we, if you get to 30 or 20, you're doing something right. I always just think that's a smart number to aim for. Nothing like 15, you know, like that's that's kind of low. But uh, we we are aiming to grab Jug in a little bit. Hey, headshots for days, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so we're gonna, like I'm saying, the RK5, not really great at this point. So I mean, it is a starting room pistol. Uh, you guys, again, like, not the MR6, it's too much of a hazard. Uh, if you guys ever watch, like, the top five fails on, uh, Mr. T-Lux5's channel, that's, like, all I see, just killing yourself with, uh, the MR6s. And that's how it was in BO2, and even in World of War, but at least you had PhD. So, the RK5 is a pretty good gun. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna most probably uh use this gun the the dragon's glare or krm just a beast you know not so much for the points but we we are gonna hit up jug right now because that is a really smart move no dumb downs on early rounds if you know what i'm saying uh there we go yeah so now we have jug now we can take a few hits uh, now we should probably focus on Pack Punch. We are kind of set up in guns. I do like looking at Dark Matter. And if you guys are wondering why I'm using this Reflex Sight, it's the only attachment I have for this gun. So, What was that? Oh, uh, I can't use the Death Machine. Again, like I explained on the other one in the Box Roulette Challenge. Uh, it is a drop, so it's not really breaking anything. Yes, it's not a pistol or a shotgun, but, you know, you shouldn't not be able to use drops, you know what I'm saying? Alright, that's enough. I mean, I just, I just don't find it fun to use. It's just a beast. On high rounds, don't get me wrong, tearing through all those zombies is so much fun. Low rounds, not very smart for the points, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this challenge is fun. Not as, I don't think it's going to be as intense as the box roulette, uh, we had some pretty intense moments on there, but man, was that a fun, uh, this is going to be a fun challenge, just a play, and I mean, this is a challenge that it, even if you're not, like, a really great zombies player, uh, you will be able to do pretty okay, depends on what map you choose, jeez, this gun is not putting up damage anymore. Now that we have Jug, we don't really have to worry about points that much. Uh, this thing is more of a beast when you pack punch it. I can't wait to show you guys. Because I know a lot of people are like, you know, why would I use the KRM when there's all this stuff? Uh, you may reconsider after you see what it's like uh, pack punch. So stick around for that. Hi. Okay. That took way too long. So this gun, I am going to want... Uh, Oh, we should probably, st before I get quick, uh, not quick, right? before I get, uh, speed cola, I am gonna wanna start, uh, linking these teleporters. Uh, dog round? Uh, I hate dog rounds. If you guys can recall the box roulette challenge, we got raped by dogs. So, I mean, I'm not really that scared, but still, it's not, it's not a good memory. The dogs did not, were not friendly to me. Uh, should I use my, uh, 
RK5 though. Yeah, now I am. <laughs> now I am. There's friggin' insta kill. Why would I not use this thing? Alright. That's what I really like about dog rounds at first. They are very short, very easy. Uh, we're gonna start opening some doors though. Oh, I don't think I have enough, but I think I do have enough for uh, getting that second teleporter, and then I should be able to get Pack Punch open by uh, next round. So that that's that's a good thing. Uh, VMP, I do, uh, I do like, I do like the VMP very much, very much so. Uh, this is a pretty risky move. I think I am gonna use uh, the KRM to plow through some zombies just in case we get any. Uh, just in case we get any blockage in these tight corner uh, areas. I think we should be fine, though. I think we should be fine. Alright, let's see what drop it gives us, though. Before, Are there zombies spawn? There we are. You're the first. Uh, free 200 points, right? Carpenter. Nuke, sure. Not very smart for points, but when it comes to, like, just killing zombies, hey... Why not, right? Free 400 points. I need 1,250 before I can pack punch, so we are close. Bowie knife, maybe. I think it's a bit late at this point to uh, start thinking about that. Um, mule kick. Has anybody ever... Comment down below if you've ever gotten mule kick on the giant. I just... Man, that was such a good perk back in Black Ops 2, or at least in my eyes. I thought it was a really good perk on Buried and all that, but now I I can live without it. Let's just say that. Okay. This is probably my strategy for those of you who uh, haven't caught on. I'm just going to train here with Dragon's Glare and uh, just wreck zombies, train in circles, and then just spray. I'm hoping I can get Blast Furnace. That is a hope because or Deadwire. Did you guys hear about Deadwire? That was it got really upgraded or something. It got really good because uh, people are really starting to like it, use it. It kills like a whole horde. Um, hey, Doctor Monty's, I like it. There's the box. I really don't care at this point. Hopefully, we don't run into much trouble. This isn't a very uh, high traffic area, but I have run into trouble in the past here. Alright, we have just opened Pack a Punch. Yeah. So, that. It is a pretty easy process. Just the fact that you have to open up all the parts of the map uh, it does require some points. Uh, I am staying here for the drop. Insta kill. Should I knife here? I don't know. How's Zetsubo, guys? I was. Actually, before I got this uh, comment, I was going to make a uh, Zetsubo no Shima. Uh, why is it uh, hard uh, video I think I'm still gonna do that so I'm not gonna spoil much on my ideas but man I I think it's actually pretty pretty hard map it's gonna be pretty intense you know I think it's gonna be really fun to play but I mean there are going to be some processes that are going to tick people off on the Xbox community I know the ps4 community is already like uh, you know we yeah, have it it's it's all right uh, but I think it's going to be really fun to play that. Yeah, WMD, I have used this gun quite a bit. Uh, that really doesn't reflect why I have Dark Matter on it. Uh, I basically use whatever I can to put Dark Matter on it, because that is why I got it in multiplayer. This gun is just a point, like, machine when it comes to this. I mean, rem if you guys remember the box roulette, it was the <laughs> the VMP probably has this gun beat by quite a lot. But I mean, this gun's pr oh double points. I will take that. I mean, I'm just trying to get enough to pack punch my uh, KRM right now, so I can show you guys how good it is pack punched. Uh, all right, we just got enough. And guys, uh, I am running wall power, but I'm just not really running gobble gums. It's not really... I still don't think I should give myself any advantages at this point, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, guys. Say goodbye to Dark Matter Camo. It's been fun.